Good morning. It is November 1st, 2023. We have some sellers in the market. Uh, if, you've, if you watched my post-market video last night, um, you'll understand where these outside edges came from. I'm not going to recap that today. Uh, that video is uh, the yesterday's video that I posted. You can check that out. Um, so we rejected this intermediate uh, upper outside edge here at the close yesterday and the closing swing down towards this two day or towards yesterday's full session VWAP which is now the two day back uh, it switches and gains a day at the close or at the open of RTH so we started swinging down towards that we had Asia come in Asia and bought it up and then when London opened, London is blue, London sold it down. So London rejected these upper these upper VWAPs at this developing edge and sent it back to the two-day back. We did an over-under on it, and we're currently below the two-day back, which suggests the next check down is the uh, intermediate lower edge that comes from this last push-up here. So the current checks and I'm just going to grab a, a pen so I can draw on my chart hopefully it works looks like it's going to okay current current checks here looks something like this so the market came up here it rejected this that suggests a retest of this we come into this reject this that suggests a retest of this if this is too high that suggests a retest of this if this is correctly priced that suggests a retest of this so we're doing kind of an if this is too high then we should recheck this if this is too low which it looks like it was here then we should check this if this is too high then we should check this. If this is too low, then we should come back to here. If it's too high, we should come to here. So I'm just kind of going through all the options of the if then, if, if not this, then this. And if we can't hold this level here, then we should fill in this space here. Um, and, and same here, once we get down here, if this is too low, we should come back and check this. If it's too high, we should come to this. If this is too high, we should come to this. If this is too low, we'll come back to here. If it's too high, we'll fail out. These are the sandbox, the sandboxes as I see them, uh, and just kind of how I get my higher time frame. Uh, view of the market uh, that said I've got uh, one intraday fractal so far anchored here at the overnight high where we where we rejected these uh, this is location for potential shorts if we stay below this level and the expectation is to head down to here. This is an area where we can look for a reaction. If we get above this and accept it, then we would target here. So it's just a, and, and when I say above it, I mean above it. So VWAPs are curling up, not just price. Price can come above it, but it, it has to stay above it. And in order to do that, we're going to need to see some of, some of these anchors curling up right now. And, and this is a five minute chart. So we're going to go over to a 30 second chart to see that price action or even a two tick or a three tick Renko. <clears throat> so that being said, uh, the current downside target is here as long as we hold underneath here if we come up above here but get below it this is still 
on deck. And right now we're chopping around at this two day back. Remember the low hanging fruit, the, sh the shortest from here to here. Uh, this is in the middle. And this is also a potential place where we can see a bounce. So two days back, VWAP is a, an important level. That's that's the equivalent of volume profile, if you're familiar with volume profile, of retesting yesterday's VPOC. Uh, the difference is VWAP is an average of all the volume where VPOC is just the price point where the highest volume took place. So you can have a profile with a double distribution. You can have a thousand lots that traded up here, and you can have a thousand and one that traded down here and the VPOC is down here. I don't think that one extra lot makes this irrelevant. Uh, some people do. Some people say this is the VPOC and that's that. Uh, VWAP doesn't work that way. VWAP is an average, so the average is going to be in the middle. Or somewhere there. It isn't going to be just a horizontal price point. So uh, I, I believe VWAPs are, uh, offer a lot of information. Let's just leave it at that. So uh, I look for the low hanging fruit trades. Um, the potential is to come down to here. This is a logical price check and we can see uh, buyers come in at yesterday's VWAP. We can also see if the market is weak, we can see sellers. And we have to remember that we have big news today, um, CPI coming out. So uh, hands off until we get those numbers. And uh, my guess is uh, the market will respond and then we'll have an opportunity uh, after those numbers come out. So watch your toes and uh, have a great day and I'll catch up with you later.